Let's take a look at some of the options you have of working with the controllers in IK Booster. Each item gets a controller, that's this little circle here, and of course I can go and click on each channel and rotate the item, and I can just freely move by clicking on the controller, but what I'd like to do is edit this controller. So I can just right click on it, go to Options, Controller Edit. I can move it away from the item, which is kind of like using a proxy item. And uh, what I can also do, let me just go ahead and end edit, and if I move this guy around, you can see that that controller follows it because it's floating. But I can also go in and Controller Edit, and float unfloat and now when I move it the controller is anchored so that it it stays where it where it's sitting and doesn't move with the object which can kinda come in handy because uh, I can still go and move these settings away from the item and in a complex scene that might come in handy to uh, to be able to, to reach an item and be able to control it from a distance.